Good evening. I'm Sam Knudsen, and I'm going to talk to you about technology you've never heard of and thought didn't exist anymore. I'm going to tell you what on earth is a mainframe, or am I? So mainframes are 50 years old. I'm not 50 years old. I am not yet 50 years old. <laughs> so this is technology that was born April 7, 1964. IBM System 360, System 370. This has driven the industrial and commercial evolution of our country and the world for many years. So where, where are these mainframes that are 50 years old? You thought these things were scrapped, right? Well, they're not really on the scrap heap. In turns, they've actually been reinvented every few years. So by constant reinvention, they're still in use, they're still running civilization. In fact, there's over 3,000 mainframe sites today. Mainframes are not evil. Mainframes, however, do drive modern commerce. And in fact, just like the Whopper in the 1980s film War Games, and I love the Tron reference in Rob's talk earlier, you'll see more of that tonight. <laughs> They are centralized computing, so not in your pocket, not just on your desktop. It's a computer that serves thousands of users, just like in the Tron system, thousands of users happily coexisting, millions of transactions flowing, flowing through the same system. All of these machines have, again, evolved over years, and the IBM mainframe is the one that's, you know, the mainframe that we think of today was the OS, but it has its roots in von Neumann computing machines, like the one from Charles Babbage, who was actually built and put in the Computer History Museum out in Mountain View, California. This is an awesome machine. This is a machine that people have to crank. Modern mainframes, by the way, do not have a crank. They do plug in, but they use very little electricity. They're actually quite efficient, again, having evolved over the years. And the people who take care of these things are wonderful, just like the people who take care of mainframe technology today. I visited the museum a few years ago, and I got to see the evolution of storage. And this is what drives life today, so that you can have you know, 10,000 songs in your pocket, so that you can record every email that you've ever sent and inspect it. But mainframes, the myths are that mainframes are old, that they don't run modern applications, that they're very expensive, that you don't have the skills to run these things anymore. Turns out these are all myths. In fact, they've constantly been reinvented. They're running the applications that drive what's in your pocket. This is a modern mainframe, kind of looks like the Batmobile or a climbing wall, you know, what, whatever, whatever visual metaphor you want to go for. It's efficient, it's green, it's secure. This is how many businesses today actually get the job done when you use your mobile phone or pull up that web browser. Mainframes drive e-commerce. This is a technology that is doing 1.1 million transactions a second around the world and going up. To put that in perspective, Google does about 60,000 searches a second. 92 of the top 100 banks, the top insurance companies, airlines, retailers use mainframe. And if you look on Pound Mainframe on Twitter, you'll find a lot of things that are going on. You don't take off on an airplane or get a package delivered at your house that a mainframe hasn't been touched. So this technology must be pretty cool, huh? Turns out one of the coolest things about it, it is unbelievably secure. It's so secure that it, you have EAL5 implementations. This is security that's good enough for those three-letter agencies, the ones that we have lots of around here in the D.C. area. So if I have a bank and I would like to keep my money mine, I'm really hoping they use a mainframe. And there's a pretty good chance that they do and that it makes it secure. So when you see data breaches, typically they're out on the edges where the data's been replicated, distributed, and it's easy to get at. There's also a lot of cultural things about mainframes that make them really beneficial to doing business. Having a backup, some of these other management attributes are just taken for granted. Everyone assumes everything on the floor has redundant power, it's backed up, it's carefully planned for, changes are planned. So when I say that they're highly available so that you can check your bank balance all the time, what do I mean? You hear about high availability. Mainframe clustering technology with the OS Sysplex does five nines or better. Think about that. So five nines, that's five minutes of downtime a year. And you say, boy, that's, that sounds pretty cool. What's it look like? Well, if you've ever seen one of these, if you have heard of it, you probably think it looks like this, green screen technology, right? Well, you know, ISPF on the mainframe is to VI on your Linux distribution. Yes, it's in there, but there's also a host of more modern tools. So you can manage things through a web browser, install software through a web browser, just like you would with any other modern operating system. This is what we have today in front of us. It has, again, evolved continually, and the people have had to evolve along with it. So one of the things you need to do in any workforce is get new people into it. And IBM runs a main, Master the Mainframe cost contest every year that attracts thousands of students, over 10,000 last time. And it's a great way that anyone over the internet can try out this technology. And in fact, the company that I work for, we have, we have a training program internally where about 37% of our mainframe workforce is under 35. This is the North American class in Pittsburgh last year. 
So you might think that I started out talking about technology, but am I really talking about a future career for your kids or that you might want to look into? So reach out. There's an IBM academic initiative. There's many ways to get your kids involved in enterprise systems computing. And I guarantee I am probably only one in this room with a pocket full of punch cards. I hope you enjoyed this. <laughs>